Hello and thank you for clicking on my video. Today's video we're going to focus on beginner hip openers. For most of us we don't realize we carry so much stress and trauma in our hips throughout our days. It impacts the abilities for something as simple as getting up out of a chair. And if you're someone like me, it helps me to be able to go deeper into my squats and help for my body to recover a little bit faster. So today's asanas, as you're called in yoga, we're going to go through five poses for three breaths. I recommend as you go through the five poses, you hold each asana for five to eight seconds and really allow your body to sink into these asanas to help you to open up your hips. So please, join me today and I look forward to any feedback or comments down below and I'll be sure to follow up with a response. This is called easy pose. Legs are crossed, one leg is stacked on top of the other. If this is too intense, the leg can come down to the floor. Your spine is nice and tall, shoulder blades are rolled up and back, your chest, your heart is opened, your hands can come down to your knees, or to the floor, it doesn't matter, wherever you are best and you feel comfortable. Close your eyes, take three deep breaths in, breathe in, breathe out, two more, deep breath in, breathe out, one more, breathe in, and breathe out. Butterfly pose. In most practices, this is called Baddha Konasana, where you take the soles of your feet together. Your knees are winged out to the side. If you need support, you have the ability to put blocks or pillows to help prop your legs up. The further out, the less intense. The further in, the deeper the intensity of the asana. Again, adjust your tailbone, sit up nice and tall, shoulder blades are back and down, eyes are closed or open, and we're gonna go with three deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out, deep breath in, deep breath out, One more deep breath in, holding, and releasing deep breath out. Shake your hips from side to side, pull your knees into your chest because they can be a little intense in our bodies. From there, we're going to do what's called a seated twist. If your legs are more flexible like me, you can take the left leg straight right leg is bent, take it across your body, take your left hand across your right knee, your right hand goes behind your back, pressing your chest open, again neck is long, shoulder blades are back and down and breathe into your body, deep breath in, deep breath out, two more, Deep breath in, deep breath out, one more, breathe in, and breathe out. A modification to this pose, again, because I have such a little more flexibility, I bring in the left leg, keep the right leg as is. Again, the pose is still the same, and I'll twitch this side. Taking your left arm across your left, right leg. Right arm is pushing your body up and open. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. And for those of us who are not as flexible, which is still okay, we're not here to judge. Take the left leg straight. Just bring the right knee into your chest. Again, adjusting your sit bones, chest open and proud, roll your 
your shoulder blades back and down and just interlace your fingers below your kneecap. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. One more, deep breath in, deep breath out. Nice. Take your legs and shake them out. And let's switch to the other side. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can actually see a difference in how the asanas are flowing through. So again, we're gonna start off with the right leg is straight this time. Take your left knee as bent. Take it across your body. Your right hand comes across your left knee. Spine is nice and tall. Shoulder blades are back and down. You take your left hand back behind you, pressing your hands into the mat. And again, breathing in. And breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Nice. Again, another variation. Bring this right leg bent into you. Left leg still stays as is. Arm across your body. Pressing back, breathing in three times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice. And again, judgment free zone. Keep this left leg straight. Right leg is straight on the mat. Foot is flat. I failed to mention that the first time. Hands are interlaced below your kneecap, never on the kneecap, but below. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are back and down. Spine is nice and tall as well. Three deep breaths in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And deep breath in. And slowly release out. Nice, release your hands. Straighten out that leg, shake them out. And come back to center. The next pose is just really simple because we just stretched out both of our knees and hips straight leg. We're gonna come back to our backs in a simple pose of just hugging our knees into chest. And also giving your spine a little bit of love by rocking from side to side. We're gonna take in three deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then our last pose is what's called happy baby. Take the hands, palms of your hands on the outside of your feet. Grabbing your bob soles of your feet into your body. Nice pull, but nothing to where you should be feeling yourself strained or injured. And just gently sway yourself from side to side. Taking in three deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, deep breath in and deep breath out. If both knees are too intense to have into your chest, take one leg to the floor or to your mat and grab the sole of your one foot and gently just pull that knee into your chest to allow the one hip to open. And in time, your mobility will come where you can actually grab both. But for today, for this demo, just grab one at a time. Both are perfectly fine. There's no judgment here. Take three deep breaths in, breathe in. Breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out, 
One last one on the right side. Breathe in and breathe out. Release the right leg down to the mat. Grab the left foot on the outside. Same motion. Wanna grab and just gently open up that left hip. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And release that foot down to the mat. And for one last move, just give yourself a nice hug. We're getting through the five hip openers. Job well done. Thank you.